This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to quickly talk about iOS 17 Beta 2, which just released to, I guess, everyone. Uh, it's not called Developer Beta anymore, it's just called Beta 2, so take that for what you will. But let's talk about some of the new features. This is going to be a super quick video. There's not much to talk about. I don't know how YouTubers are making 20-minute videos on this one. I'm guessing they're just trying to milk advertisement revenue out of you guys. So let's quickly talk about this. Anyways, here is the new update screen. As you can see, it says Update Now or Tonight pretty self-explanatory. That's really cool to see. I'm so glad they were able to update this screen. It looked pretty old for a long time, so this is a nice change. Let's talk about the build number. So as you can see right here, the build number ends with an H. So that means we've still got a lot of betas to go, which is expected. And real quick, just to talk about this, the size was 1.46 gigabytes, which eh, it's about average for a beta, so nothing unexpected there. So if we wanna talk about new features, the biggest one, in my opinion, is that AirDrop now works if you just put a phone next to yours. So there's no fiddling around with anything. You just put the phone next to it and you can airdrop to that person. On top of this, you can also do name drop. Name drop now works. I don't have another phone here with me. Name drop does work so you can transfer contacts that way. It's great. Next up, there's actually a change under location services. So if you scroll all the way down and you go to system services, in here you will see a new one called micro location. This clearly has used my location within the past 24 hours. I have no idea what it does. There's no documentation on it. I'll probably be turning it off unless Apple goes ahead and releases some information because I have no idea what it does. My only guess would be for AirDrop, like being really close to one another, micro location, maybe that's what that means. I don't know. Very strange, but that toggle is now in settings. And literally the last big, fe big feature <laughs> is app tips. So if you are in a certain app, you might see a tip telling you how to do something. Uh, I noticed this in messages and one other app, I forget which one it was. I'm going to post on the screen something from Mac Rumors. Uh, they had a little uh, screenshot of it. And that's it. Those are all the new features that are notable. I mean, there's some stupid text changes and stuff, but who wants to watch a video over that? Um, for the most part, everything's the same here. But let's talk about bug fixes, battery life, and performance. These are things that matter. So I'm going to speed run this, okay? Bug fixes, the dynamic island glitch that I mentioned before is fixed. So if you open up Waze or McDonald's or something that uses your location and you kill the app, it should also kill location services, which is awesome. Next up, the keyboard has been mostly fixed in most apps. I'd say about 20% of the time it still glitches out, but iMessage has been much more solid. So uh, if you are texting someone, you have a much less chance of the keyboard disappearing now. So huge update there. Across the board, if you're asking yourself, should I update from beta one to beta two? The answer is absolutely yes. This beta is better in almost every single way possible. Battery life so far has been about what I expected. I mean, it's not great. My The first beta was actually really bad for the first like couple days. Um, the battery life was horrible. So it's probably doing some logging and stuff in the background and that just takes time. It's probably doing that again here. So I would expect in the next two or three days, my battery life will improve just a bit, but it's still not gonna be anything great but it'll be better probably than beta one. And lastly, this is a bug that no one has mentioned because I think it's only affecting me. I was actually testing out sharing AirTag uh, items with my fiance. She shared with me a bunch of hers that never showed up for me to accept. So I rebooted the phone and we had to do them one by one. And eventually I was able to accept them. But the original, I guess four that I couldn't accept that never showed up, want to they wanna be a little, uh, notification there, just bugging the crap out of me. There's no way for me to get rid of those. They were able to go away with the last beta. They came back with this one. I don't know, super annoying, but uh, if you are sharing AirTag items, just be advised that could happen to you as well. It's aggravating to say the least, but hey, if that's the biggest bug that I have to worry about with uh, iOS 17, so be it. Anyways, guys, I am not noticing many issues with this beta so far. It seems a lot smoother than the other one. Performance wise as well, no issues there. Battery life will we won't know for a few days. So if you like these short, sweet to the point videos and don't like wasting your time, hit this video with a thumbs up so that it helps the algorithm because YouTube likes to hide videos that are super short because they can put less ads on them 
and that makes YouTube less money and me less money. I don't care if I make less money, but YouTube definitely does. So thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment down below with what your biggest new features are with 17.2. If you found any that I didn't mention that are big, drop them down below. Don't tell me something stupid like, oh, the text in the clock app is bigger, like no one cares. Let's talk about big features here. That's what we talk about on this channel, not stuff that no one cares about. All right, long drawn out outro. See you guys in the next one. Peace.